Elvis stole style from little-known black musician who sounds identical Elvis Presley took a new sound movement to the mainstream, but many throughout history think that he copied the style of black musician Otis Blackwell video loading video unavailable click to play tap to play the video will auto play soon 8 cancel play now little-known singer Elvis stole style from by Harry Thompson 16 colon 56 November 3, 2021, comments Steven Tyler, the singer of iconic Boston rock band Aerosmith, thinks Elvis Presley is a thief. This is of course a controversial statement and one that many in the music industry, let alone the world, will strongly disagree with. But there is one man in particular who Elvis' familiar voice and gyrating hips are incredibly reminiscent of. Famous early Elvis recordings, All Shook Up, Don't Be Cruel and Return to Sender were all written by black musician Otis Blackwell and almost identically sung to how Blackwell had done his demonstration recordings. Appearing on The Letterman Show in 1987 Blackwell gave a live performance of Don't Be Cruel and the similarities are startling. Elvis grew up in a segregated version of America, spending time at black music clubs, reportedly inspired by blues, gospel and rhythm and blues. But for a white artist at that time it was easier to reach a wider audience. When Presley took inspiration from R&B bars it seemed to many like he was creating the style himself. Many of his other well-known songs were also covers of songs by black artists. These include, Mystery Train Baby Let's Play House, Arthur Gunter, Milk Cow Blues Boogie, Kokomo Arnold's, Good Rockin' Tonight and I Need You So, Ivory Joe Hunter, Money Honey, Jesse Stone, One Night, Smiley Lewis, and so the debate is this, did Elvis shine a light on black music or did he attempt to take it as his own? Musicians' opinions on Elvis in a selection of interviews, the San Diego Union Tribune asked musicians and industry figures what they thought about Elvis' approach. Here are some of the key findings in what they said. Matchbox 20 singer Rob Thomas said, I think he was an innocent thief, he didn't realize he wasn't supposed to steal. In his mind, I think he thought he was taking what he loved and paying homage. In some ways, he was a product of a fog of ignorance that existed in the 1950s Mick Fleetwood the drummer of Fleetwood Mac said, the reality is that black R and B and blues was the instigator that sparked this whole fire. You can't listen to any music now without tracing the umbilical cord back to blues and R&B. It's just a fact. Johnny Rotten, former singer of the Sex Pistols said, Elvis is absolutely irrelevant. He was something my parents liked, so I naturally dismissed him. Jazz trumpeter Wynton Marsalis said, to me, Elvis represented somebody who, because our country was not ready then to embrace the black artist and make them know. 1. Became number one because of his rendition of what some black people sounded like. What made it distasteful is that we had people who could do it better than him, but who couldn't be accepted at that time because of the color of their skin. Jazz saxophonist Branford Marsala said, all great music is thievery. Beethoven stole from Haydn, and everybody stole from Bach. Charlie Parker stole from Lester Young, who stole from Frankie Trumbauer. People who like Elvis don't want to hear the facts. Alice Cooper said, I think everybody puts a little of Elvis into their show. Quincy Jones, ex-husband of the late Peggy Lipton who also dated Elvis, said that when Elvis appeared on stage time in 1956, they wouldn't shoot him below the waist because they still couldn't handle anybody shaking their, rare, black or white. I thought, 
things are going to change because they've discovered how to emotionally feel music. This had been happening with black music forever, but this was the first time young white kids did. It was amazing to watch. What do you think about the debate? Share your thoughts in the comments. Follow Mirror Facebook Twitter comment.